Now, as of last week, the CDC is recommending everyone, even people with no symptoms, to wear a face mask while in public. Tonight, NBC Local 33's Kennedy Walker has the story. She spoke with some Capital City residents who say they're breaking out the needles and thread to keep their loved ones safe. Brittany Kemble is one of dozens who stood in line outside of Joanne's Fabric Store Monday. I recently taught myself how to sew about two weeks ago and I started making masks because it just was a more of a demand. This comes after new recommendations from the CDC advising everyone to wear a face mask. When you go out in public, wear a mask. The CDC is urging you not to buy medical or surgical grade masks, saying these need to be left for first responders and hospitals. Instead, use cloth materials to make your own. Many are taking these recommendations seriously and buying as much fabric as they can. I'm going to make at least about 50 with what I purchased today in, a, in an attempt to help with what's going on in the world. Cheryl McLean is a seamstress in Baton Rouge. She's made hundreds of face masks for those in need. Now more than ever, it's important that everybody wear a mask so that this coronavirus can cease to exist. She says anyone can order one, and the main goal is for everyone to flatten the curve. Whether if you buy it from me or somebody else, it's very important that you get a mask. I really want to see us get back to normalcy, but... uh. It's not going to happen if you're not wearing your mask. Kennedy Walker, NBC, Local 33 News.